Are you looking to sell product of your Shopify store on different markets in different pricing? So for example, your store is based in Canada and you want to sell the products in US with different pricing. So for example, you have a t-shirt which you are selling it uh, in like $15 in Canadian dollars in Canada and you want to sell the same t-shirt in 20 Canadian dollar in USA. Similarly, you want to sell the same t-shirt in 22 Canadian dollar in Europe. If you want to learn how to display different pricing on different markets on your Shopify store, stick to the video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel, comment on the video below. I'm your host, Bilal Nasir with a new Shopify tutorial. And without further ado, let's get into our screens. So guys, in order to show you guys how you can set up different prices for different countries, what I'm going to do, I'll set up different pricing for the country France. So in US, it will show 10 USD for my product. But if you will uh, view the website from France, it will show you 15 euros. It should be 9 euros if you convert USD to euro, but it will show 15 euros if you're visiting the website from France. Okay, let's go to the back end of our store. And from back end, click on online store. From online store, go to customize settings. So here we have customize button. Go to customize settings. And from there, first, what we will do, we'll add a country selector on footer of our website. And let's click on footer here. And then check mark the country region selector. Enable it. Click on save. And now let's go back again to the Shopify dashboard. Click on settings. And then from settings, click on markets. And from markets, you will see the default country. Currently, I have set my country, uh, United States, as a default. So what I'm going to do, I'll create a new market for Europe. Click on Add Market. Let's add new market called Europe. Now we can select country regions by clicking on this plus sign. And now let's search for France. check mark, click on done, and then save the market. Once the market is saved, you will be able to see the settings for setting up different pricing. Here, different taxes. You can also select different languages for different markets. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up the pricing. So click on manage. Here. And from there, you can see our product price is showing up. So currently Shopify is converting from USD to Euro automatically based on its own calculation. We can set up fixed pricing of our product here. So for example, that's our product, which is 10 USD equals to 9.95 Euro as per the conversion, which is Shopify doing, but we want to sell it on a higher price for the country and uh, for the people in France. So let's set up 15 euro and click save. Now let's go back to our store, hit refresh. Okay, so it's blue t-shirt. Let's open up that product. And now you can see it's showing up 10 USD because the country we have selected here is United States as it's a primary country of my Shopify store settings, right? Now let's click on this country region selector and navigate to France. There it is. Click on that. 
And now you can see the URS is also changed and the pricing is 15 euro. So that's how you can set up pricing of your product different for, for different countries. But what if you have multiple variations on your products? How can you set up pricing for multiple uh, variations? So if you go to markets, you don't have any option here to set up pricing for uh, multiple variants. In order to do so, you'll have to export the CSV and then update the pricing as per the market. And let me show you how. So click on products. And then from products, you can see it's showing up an option to export. Click on export. Select all products if you want to set up pricing uh, for all products for different markets. Select on CSV format. Click on export products. And then you will get an email of the CSV file. So that's how the CSV file will look like. As you can see, each variant is showing up on a separate row, right? So that's how we can set up uh, pri international pricing, price per market, price per country for each variant. So for example, this new t-shirt in black color. Now let's go to the end and you can read the title of the column. As you can see, that's the cell for pricing of Europe. That's the compare price of Europe. So a compare price is when you show the discount. So let me show you what the compare price is. So as you can see in, in France, it's, it's not showing any compare price, but when you switch to United States, USD, it's gonna show you the compare pricing. United States. Where are you? Okay, UK. There it is. Now take a look. It's showing the compare price. So this cutoff price, like it was before $20 and now we're selling it on $10. That's called the compare pricing. You can also add compare pricing by exporting the CSV and then re-importing to your Shopify store. There is no option to add compare price by going to the market settings. So if you go to settings and then markets and uh, click on the pricing as per, as per the market. So here's the pricing for France, click on manage. Now, if I go to the products and pricing, I don't have option here to add the compare pricing, but when you export the CSV and re-import it to your Shopify store, that's how you can add the compare pricing. As you can see here, I can add the price for Europe and here I can add the compare price for Europe per variant. And that's the column for international price. And that's the compare price for international price. So you can add pricing on the CSV and then import it. So let me show you guys as an example. So that's the Polo product. And for Polo product, these are the three variations, red, black, and white. Now I'm gonna add the compare price for Europe, the market which we created. Uh, let's set it up as 15 euro and compare price to be 25 euro. And uh, for the different variant, I'm gonna change the pricing. So let's set it up as 18 and 25 and compare it with a higher pricing, obviously, 28 and 35. We don't need to add any currency because Shopify will automatically deduct that detect that. Now click, you now just save the CSV and re-import it to your Shopify store. Click on import, add file. Okay, override any current products that have same handle. Yes, 
overwrite, add file. Now I'm going to import. So that's the file which was exported. We updated the pricing and now we are importing it. Click on the file and then import it. There we go, it's showing up the data. Cool, click on import products. Import is in progress. Let's see how much time it takes. Okay, products are imported. Now let's open up our product called Polo. Where it is? There it is. Open that up. So that's the pricing for USD for United States. Black and white. So white, I can see. Now let's check out the pricing for France. Where it is. So here's trans. Click on that. And now you can see that our pricing is showing up with the compare pricing. Right? Similarly, same pricing which we added in our CSV. So that's the pricing for what's the color red color is red black white okay red color is 15 euro 18 euro and 25 euro red black white red is 15 euro black is 18 euro white is 25 euro and when you switch to united states the pricing will be completely different so that's how you can set up pricing based on country so that's it for the tutorial guys. If you like the tutorial, don't forget to comment and let me know in the comments below what more you would like to learn in Shopify and whether it was helpful for you or not. Until next video, have a great day.